I'm uh, currently walking on the ridge of Ben Atto in uh, Glencoe and I'm having one of these <laughs> awesome days uh, I can't stop smiling um, in my own today That's just where I've been. Um, that's where I'm going. There's still Corrie and Lochin over there. Um, up ahead of me, the south top of Benato, and then still Corrie Screamach. I think the, the name is of the pointy one in the distance there. But this looks completely awesome. I just saw a tent back there. Um, I don't know if the guy's. He's either mad or he's uh, very confident <laughs> about the weather. I think I'll have to do that myself. Oh, look at the cornices. It's just uh, beautiful looking down there into the Lost Valley. Almost vertical. Scary stuff. But awesome. I'm going to have to put the camera away. I gotta climb this. Um, I know I need both hands. Well, I'm not gonna use the word awesome again because it gets tiring after a while, but uh, <laughs> just coming over this uh, ridge. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm standing on a cornice there. And uh, that baby particular galley there goes all the way down into um, ooh, the Lost Valley. <laughs> and it doesn't have to give you the willies this, but <laughs> it's just, oh, such a lucky chap today. Ah, there's not very much wind, you can hear it in the mic a little bit. It's not too bad. A bit of cloud coming over, um, still calling in Lockwood and uh, Lydia Numbian now, unfortunately, but uh, there is a bank of cloud off to the the west, but hopefully it'll stay there. Um, I don't like it around anyway. As I kind of pan around here, you'll see that <laughs> this is the Scottish mountains at their absolute an utter best. I, <laughs> words fail me. <laughs> the, the snow is glittering and the sun. Clouds are kind of coming on and off. So Corrie and Loch and I can see somebody at the top. I was talking to a couple of chaps down there on the ridge. You might be able to see them. And uh, I think they decided that uh, the particular uh, slope I just came up it was not for them, uh, I think. I can see absolutely no shame. <laughs> no shame whatsoever in that. Uh, you can see the, the edge of the cornice there. Look at that. that that's just incredible. Um, so now I have to get my skinny butt up that thing. So I better stop yapping and get on with it. Well, this is the summit. Stop Scotty Screamach. And I do a I apologise for the pronunciation, it's terrible. It's just a shame that you're divorced from your native language in such a way, but this is absolutely... I won't say it again. <laughs> I was about to say awesome there, but sorry, I won't. Over there, that's uh, Loch Etchiv. That's the sea down there. Uh, over a thousand metres below us now. Over there is Bijan Lambian, just poking its head out of the cloud. I uh, certainly hope this cloud doesn't hang around and cause a problem today. It shouldn't do. I just have to worry about the cornices down there. But this is just, just incredible. I can't, I can't believe it. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What a day to be alive. Yes. Come out, son. We love you. <laughs> this is great. I just feel really silly. And you have to choke it down. It's wonderful. Great. Oh well, there you go. Making a scene that suggests as well there's nobody here to see me. Great.
I'm now in the relative safety of Corrie and Lochan. I, I summited Buddy and Nambian and um, it was such that it was the weather had really clogged in, it was really misty, I could not see a thing, I could hardly differentiate the sky from the mountain, which is not good. I met a really nice chap called uh, Mick, who had just come up from Stolcorry and Lochan, so <laughs> I very gratefully followed him uh, back down. It's just as well I did, because that ridge is really quite dodgy. I'm going to head back down to the car now. I've had an absolutely amazing uh, day out. I've come out below the cloud now, and uh, that's what it looks like. This is beautiful.